Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. That's right, today we're installing a product actually from Tuffy. It's a security door, I'll call it. It's technically, it's called a center console safe for the 16 through 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Comes in this nice handy box. We're gonna go ahead, I've been kicking around putting some sort of a safe in the Toyota Tacoma for a while, particularly in the center console area. So we're gonna unbox this, this, and we're gonna go ahead and get it installed. By the way, there will be a link down below if you wanna check out price, availability, more detail, you can find it there. Here we go, we'll pop this puppy open, see what is in the box. I did cut it open already, but I have not looked at what's inside. Looks like right on the top is some instructions. It is a key to safe, which I prefer. You know, it'd be nothing worse than trying to put in a combination, battery went dead, or roll the tumblers, they don't work. Keys always work. So we've got the instructions, little packaging stuff, and <laughs> we have a hat. Check it out. They sent me a Tuffy hat. I like that, pretty cool, nice touch. Now, let's see. Stickers and decals. Wow, they've uh, they've gone all out. This is kind of like a press package, I guess. Uh, there are a ton of stickers and things in here. That's pretty neat. Maybe I'll give some away on the channel or something. I don't know. Now, let's uh, move on. We have the safe. And what this is, it's more of a lid-type device, if you will. Uh, it folds down on the sides. You can see here, this is where it attaches inside the center console area and then of course you have the lid so you can get your stuff out of there now the thing i like about this as opposed to the drop-in ones that have the sides and all that stuff on them is it gives you more room inside the the safe area you know all this is going to take up is just this little thin area here and then i can still put a bunch of stuff down below so a good alternative to those drop-ins i think set that aside and then we have, looks like, some more bracketry type stuff. We'll have to see what this is once, uh, once I go to do the install. And that's it. Looks pretty simple. Again, I favor uh, mods that don't have tons and tons of fasteners with them because that means you don't have to do a ton of work to put it in. And there is a little bit of assembly before we go to the truck, and that is this little arm here that's going to support the lid when you move it up and down. Now, real quick, these are the tools that you need for the job. A Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, 5 30 seconds Allen key, they call it a hex wrench, uh, 3 8 inch end wrench, and 7 16 end wrench. I call them box wrenches, but this is uh, what I'm talking about. Mine happens to be a two-in-one. So what we're going to do, there's two nylon inserts, a screw, and a lock a locking nut. We're going to sandwich one of the inserts in between the arm and the edge here. Right down here is where it's going to go. And then the other nylon washer goes in between the uh, screw and the arm. That's just to give it a friction point to move up and down. Then, of course, on the outside, we'll put the nut. Now, they tell you to tighten it to the point where it will stay open at about a 45 degree angle. So you wanna make sure you don't over tighten it because it is just friction uh, that holds this thing open. So make sure that you don't over tighten it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be ready to go to the truck. Out here in the truck, you've got two bolts down here, one there and one there. You need to remove those, they're 10 millimeter, and we're going to replace them with bolts to secure the safe inside the lid here. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get those out. They are extremely loose. Wow, you got any rattling in your truck, you might wanna to check to make sure those are tight. Okay, just kinda of wanna finagle it down in there. You may have to truly finagle it a little bit just to get it inside.
but you want it to be nice and snug, right? Just like that, open the lid. And now we can do the next steps, which are gonna be kind of tight. Not sure how much I'm gonna actually be able to show you in here, uh, but we're gonna install these two or four plates down in there. And then in the rear where we took those screws out, we're gonna secure it in the back as well. Okay, next up are to install those plates which hopefully you can see they're laying down in there. Uh, they are threaded holes, so you don't have to screw with any uh, nuts or anything. Taking the little screws, there are four of them, and the holes in the back that you can see and there in the front are going to go into the legs on the safe. So we want to go ahead and tighten those down. And by the way, quick note, the bigger hole that you see there and over there, that's where it's going to connect into the threaded inserts that we just took the screws out of from the OEM uh, setup. Next up, those little triangular brackets. They go right behind the safe itself on the edges. A couple of reasons. One, to kind of sandwich it in there, even though it's going to be bolted in the bottom. And two, to fill the gaps on the sides here. Uh, really, just for aesthetic purposes. You can see how it looks in there now. Uh, pretty good. Last up, we have to go ahead and put those bolts in at the bottom into the OEM slots, uh, and then we'll be done. Okay, we've got it all installed. Let me see if I can give you some light down in there. Uh, there's everything put in, uh, fastened down. There's what it looks like inside. Now, they tell you you can put the carpet in, and I did test fit it. It does seem to fit, but we're going to try it again while I've got you guys on here. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I have it the right way. I'm gonna just kind of drop it in there and we'll see. I think that's the right way. Let's take a look. Well, I've got it a little catty cornered, but you get the idea. It does fit in there. Let me go ahead and straighten it out. Okay, let's take a look now. You can see the carpet is down in there. Uh, it does fit, that's cool. And another thing I like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see, right there. You still have access to the USB ports, all that stuff, so it's not like a box that may or may not cover those up. I would assume the boxes uh, have a cutout in them, I don't know. Now, as far as shutting it goes, get that off. That just obviously shuts right down like so. You have the key, lock it, pull the key out, you're done. Does you leave you a little bit of room to put stuff on top of it if you want to? But I will say, the tray that I had, obviously, is not going to fit uh, with the safe in there. So beware of that. A little bit of a trade-off, but I'd rather have the ability to lock things up in there than have an open tray, I suppose. And I can still put some stuff right up on top. As far as the lid goes, it does shut too. So there's no interference issues with that. One more time on the key. Let's make sure we got a nice clean open. There you go. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it'll be good. It gives me a way to lock things up in my truck just so nobody can get in there and steal anything. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it's a pretty good uh, solution, I think, as compared to the drop-in ones. It's not too bad to install, a little tedious here or there, just take your time. It's only a few fasteners, no big deal. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, there is a link down below if you want to check out price and availability and all that kind of stuff. I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.